Okay, this is a question I've seen come up a little bit. Um, and it's how you do the ignition switching on a PD16. Now, there are really two ways you can do this. Um, I'll show you what um, is the intended sort of main way to have a PD16 stuff. That's to have an extra CCU, so an R3 or an R5. And you have your, um, your constant battery power going directly into this, obviously. Um, and you've got your ignition switch just drives the switch like that, um, going into the ECU. Or you can feed the constant power directly into here, either way. Um, and I think that's A1326. So when the ECU switch is on, um, that powers up the CAN bus. So you've got your, your CAN you know, high and low, and you've got your can power, and you've got your power ground as well. Um, and the can power is, I think in the harnesses it's 8 amp HCO number 1 on the R5, and it's HBO 5 or 6 or something like that um, on the R3. But either way, that's configured in the uh, default map to turn on as CAN power when the ignition switch turns on. So that's in your CAN cable, which just looks like one black wire. It's got four wires inside, but sorry, four wires inside, but it just looks like one cable. Um, and that goes into your um, PD16. Again, in the PD16 harness, it's just got the, um, the four pin DTM that you can just plug it into. Um, and that connects into the power connects into pin 25. The ground I don't think connects anywhere, and then high and low go to. Um, oh, sorry, that does go to A22, um, and then the um, high and low go to um, the common pins there, 23 and 24. Not that we really care about those. Now, um, when the PD16 um, first gets 12 volts on this, I'll draw our battery here because you know. So we've got a constant power going into the ECU, and we've also got a constant power going into the PD16. Now the PD16 won't draw any current from the battery until it's turned on. Um, and giving 12 volts on this A25 pin, which is the CAN power pin, will turn it on. And when the PD16 realises it's being powered up by that pin, um, it operates in slave mode, where um, it assumes that it's just a device on the Halsey CAN bus, um, just like you could have that, and you could have a, you know, a dash, and you could have a keypad, and I don't know what else. EGT things, tire pressure monitoring, whatever. Iron box. Um, so you know, when it sees that, it can power it up, and that way, um, if you want, you can just put this in the back of the car. Um, you can run the short cable from the battery to this, um, and you can drive your fuel pumps directly off this guy. And then all you need going from the front of the car to the back of the car is this CAN cable here, which you can buy from Haltech in different lengths. Um, and that saves a lot of wiring. Um, or if you want more outputs, you can put this in the front of the car and drive your headlights and your thermo fans and all that sort of thing to this guy. But either way, the point of it is to put this close to the loads um, so that you can just connect this can thing. Um, now, because the um, Elite ECUs um, weren't really designed to have constant power from battery go into them, and they don't have really a switched can power out, um, for the Elite ECUs, um, it's done differently. So, put another pad here. The PD16 also has an ignition switch input um, and a constant power output just like on the um, R3 and the R5. So that's the constant power out. And that just saves you you know, running another wire to the battery. Um, but you can't drive anything off this except for the ignition switch. It's very low current. 
Um, and then you can have your, your, your latest view up here that can you know, connect up like that. Now, when the PD16 um, sees that, um, sees 12 volts on a 13 pin, um, then it will power up as well, just as it did when it saw power on the A25 pin. Um, but when it's um, when it's powered up in that way, it knows that it's configured in a master mode where um, it's got the ignition switch going uh, into the PD16, um, and it will stay on as long as you have the ignition switch on here. Um, but the Elite ECU can also um, drive the ECR function on the CAN bus to the PD16. So that can hold the ignition on um, after you've turned the key off for um, turbo timer function or um, parking step motors and things like that. Um, so in that case, to power up the Elite ECU, you, you can this CAN power output here, A25, um, actually becomes a CAN power output in this case. Um, and the reason that we did that was so that um, one day if we're using it um, as a standalone, which you can't do yet, um, but that with, say, a dash or something like that, then when that gets powered up, that can power up the dash as well. Um, but for the time being, A25, which was the CAN power in, um, in this configuration, is now a CAN power out. Um, and you can use that to um, power up the Elite ECU. Um, or other buses as well. So really this is the way it's intended to be used for you know the future Haltech products moving forward. Um, but you can use it in this way as well.